Hi guys, so today I wanted to share with you some of my favourite house products of the summer. Now, I, so I find it really useful when people make these videos with horse products because I tend to just stick with the same old stuff, um, my sort of trusted horse items that I would always use and every now and again I will sort of try something new but I am a bit dubious because horse stuff is so expensive and there are so many products on the market that claim to do this and claim to do that and sometimes it's better to just stick with what you know. But recently I have tried a, new, a few new things um, and some of them are old favourites, some of them are new um, but I think it's nice to sort of share new products. Um, so they're all pretty much just summer maintenance and summer care things um, but that's what I need at the minute and that's what you guys need so I thought I would share them with you. None of these things have been, I've like been paid to say this or anything, um, just wanted to clarify that in case anyone was wondering. So the first thing I've actually already mentioned in a video and it is the Horseman's One Step Cream. So this is a leather cleaner and conditioner which um, is amazing stuff. If you hate cleaning tack or you're going to pony club camp or you've got something where you're going to be cleaning a lot of tack or your boots get absolutely so dusty at the minute during the summer from riding. My boots get so dusty, my riding boots. Um, and so every time I've ridden I have to clean them and it's really annoying um, and they sort of dry out as well um, and I've been using this um, Horseman's One Step so I'll show you the packaging so it looks like this and it's just a cream but my goodness it is the best thing ever you literally put it on with like a damp sponge and then buff it um, and it cleans it and it conditions your tack and it actually does a better job than I think traditional cell soap and then conditioner on top um, it, it's a pH balancer and everything so it's just all in one and we've been using this for a couple of months and we use a lot and there's still a load in that um, I don't think it was that expensive either I'm not sure how much how expensive it was but for what like you pay it's amazing stuff it makes my life so much easier especially during the summer when everything is dusty and everything is sort of drying out and you just need to give your tack and your boots a bit of TLC this is just incredible stuff I definitely recommend it so the rest of the things are sort of to do with horse care rather than tack or other items the first thing we go through like there is no tomorrow we really need this stuff on tack is show sheen so this is the showing shine and um, it's like a hair polish and detangler now we don't use it for showing and uh, we we're not showing at the minute although we will be soon which is very exciting um, but we actually just use this day to day. We use it as a detangler for their manes and tails and we also use it on their coat. So once you've given them a really good um, bath and then they've dried or once you've given them a really good groom, if you've sprayed this all over, this is actually a refill bottle um, that you can like unscrew and put the little spray top on. But we just use a normal spray bottle. Um, because it's cheaper to buy this and then transfer it into a spray bottle that we've already bought rather than it is to buy the spray version um, so that's how we do that and for how many 32 fluid ounces um, you this was £12.50 so it's not the cheapest stuff but my gosh it works it really helps once you've cleaned them to keep them clean um, so obviously it helps with detangling and stuff like that um, but it help, it makes them so shiny and it sort of creates a protective barrier on their coat um, which means that they don't get stable stains and they, if they're like coming during the day and they don't get as many grass stains and if they do it's so much easier to get off with a sponge um, if you use this stuff than it is if there's nothing on it. Uh, it's really really good it basically just acts and my lighting is playing up sorry <laughs> I've just got natural lighting so one minute I'm dark one minute I'm bright but yeah I'll get back to this now um, it just acts as protection and it's really really good I would definitely recommend it and if you are showing definitely use this stuff because your horse will be shining 
So from shiny coat to shiny hooves. Oh, the next thing we have been loving, me and my mum using, is the Kevin Bacon's hoof dressing. So this stuff, I've actually had to clean the tub because we've had it that long sat here doing nothing. Um, and then we sort of rediscovered it and it is grubby. Are you ready for this? It is grubby, but my goodness, we love it. We've been putting this on the horse's hooves every day um, on like the outside of their hooves as a hoof oil and also on the inside because what this does is it stops them from drying out, it protects them from water, uh, it stops them from drying out, it sort of condi conditions it. Um, so it says it cures and prevents thrush, protects against the wet, restores and maintains a healthy hoof when used daily. And it really does. Um, so at the minute all our horses hooves are drying out with the weather, it's been really dry, the ground's quite hard so their hooves start to get cracks in. Um, so we've been using that and it's just really helped, it conditions their feet and it also makes them a lot easier to muck out and also makes their feet a lot easier to pick out because obviously it's had the coating on. Um, so on the hard ground if they do get any mud in it's generally really compacted um, and if they're really hard to pick their hooves out but that acts like a lubricant so then as soon as you go to pick their hoof out it's all the stuff, all the debris and everything sort of slides out. Um, so we've been using that, it's been really helping with their horse's hoof health um, and it's just really good stuff. Um, so then the next thing I've been really loving are the Bull Stick for Farm brushes. So um, we used to just use this on Danny because it used to be Danny's grooming kit but I've sort of stolen my mum's um, brushes and started using them on Charlie as well. So these are the Bull Stick ones. So they're really nice like rustic looking brushes which I like anyway um, but this as you can tell we've been using it from the dirt that is now coming off it. Um, but yeah this is the finishing brush and this is my uh, favourite because it makes them really nice and shiny so if you use this with the show sheen your horse will be looking amazing, it'll be looking like a very polished pony. Um, but all of the brushes are just really good quality and they're really not expensive for what they are um, so these are the brushes I've sort of been going to they're really natural and really nice um, and they're like banana brushes is what I call them I don't know if that's what they're called um, but they're a banana brush so when you hold them they sort of ergonomically designed to sort of fit your hand because I don't like when you have to put your hand in like the bands and stuff like that I think I like something that I can hold on to because I have little hands um, and my hands don't fit in brushes I used to have to get the little kiddies brushes um, so that's why I like these as well but they do give a really really nice finish um, as I said this is a finishing brush um, and I've sort of nicked it off my mum because it just makes your horse look really like polished um, even without any product so then my final favourite at the moment is a really big essential during summer if you have horses with a white or pink nose. So Charlie and Lucy are both coloured so they both have pink noses which means they both get sunburn. Um, we have used so many human sun creams, so many horse sun creams that they just never stay on and they still end up sunburned. Um, however, we recently discovered SunGuard by Gold Label. So it looks like this, it's in a little pot. We've actually gone through a lot of these, that's the only thing. I don't know if they do do bigger pots, but if they do, I need to get a hold of one. Because um, the pots aren't that big, and for what we use, they go down really, really quickly. So it's like a putty, um, and it's just a sun cream. But my goodness, it is a strong sun cream. It's like industrial strength stuff. Um, so as I said, it's like a putty. It, you have to proper like claw your way in here. Um, or if you put it out in the sun um, before you use it, it sort of melts a bit and it's so much easier to put on. But what I do is I'm not going to do it now because I will literally end up covered in this stuff. And the amount of days I've ended up with a white hand, I'm surprised I haven't got like glove tan. Um, because you get this on your hand and it's hard to get off 
So you sort of scrape a bit out, I sort of like get a ball, rub it in my fingers um, to, to like soften it up because it is literally like putty and then I pop it on Chunk's nose and rub it in um, and it's really really good stuff. It's neither Chunk or Lucy have had any issues with getting sunburnt on their nose um, since we started using this um, because it is strong stuff, it stays on all day. Even on a night when I go to see him, if I touch his nose, I'll end up with like white stuff on my hands. Um, and that's from him grazing all day. So it's had his nose to the ground all day. And he is still protected with this. So it really is worth its weight in gold, pun intended. Because um, it's gold label. So it is amazing stuff. It's really thick and it just coats his nose. And even when it's on its thinnest layer, and we sort of get that evening heat and the evening sun. Um, Charlie's still not had any issues with his nose getting burnt. So you do, I do go through it quickly, that's the only thing, and it's not the cheapest thing in the world. Um, you only get 100 millilitres in one of these little tubs. Um, but I, I'm very, very sort of, um, what's the word, I can't think. But I use a lot of it on Charlie, just because I'm so scared of him sort of getting a sore nose. Um, but I do use a lot. So that's why um, I do go through it. But if you're a bit, you only really need a little amount, but I sort of like to be OTT, make sure it's protected. Um, but yeah, so that is something I'm loving. So they are all my favorites. I know I've rambled on a bit just because I really love the products and I'm sort of trying to get that across. But I think rather than being enthusiastic, I'm just rambling. So apologies for that. It's been a while since I've sat and just talked to a camera for a video. Um, I do find when I'm not used to it, I say um and I ramble, so sorry, but that's me. Um, so yes, these are all my favourite products. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some tips, and if you do try them out, let me know um, either in the comments or on my Instagram, which is Little Pet Channel. Um, but yeah, I hope you found it helpful. I hope if you've been looking for any of these sort of products, that it's sort of helped you along to find sort of a good sun cream or something to help with your horse's hooves and I will see you guys soon.